Well, hello, hello, and welcome to part, uh, what part are we on? Part four of uh, Demon's Genesis RPG walkthrough. And I am going to keep the camera up for the first part here, but I'm going to drop the camera when I start talking about the game, because you've already seen in the other videos that uh, it only goes out by about, like, 0.5 of a second, but it's, at least I notice it, and it's annoying. You probably notice it as well, so I'm going to stop using the camera going forward. There are two maps that we're going to look at. Uh, in this playthrough, we're going to have a look at Eden South, which is where we are right now, and we're going to have a look at the trading post as well, because both of these maps are relatively small, and we can cover that in one video, and hopefully this time it will actually be quite short, because the, uh, the re-recordings I've done of each of these videos have gone approximately 50 minutes to over 50 minutes already, so I'll try and keep this one, let's say, below 10, unless something really crazy happens. Alright, let's get to it! Alright, so as you can see, it's going to be a bit weird about the camera maybe, but as you can see we're now in the south of Eden, which is also known as the Living Quarters, and you can kind of walk around here and there isn't too much to interact with, but there are two people to talk to and there's also a sign. So let's start with the sign. If you click on the sign it will tell you uh, some specials that are being served by Angel Kutil, the chef at the moment, and there'll be a short dialogue between Ibn and Yoka talking about their personal tastes, Ibn not being particularly happy and Yoka being pretty happy. I forgot to mention in the last video about um, Duran building on the situation with Ibn worrying about the death of uh, Evelyn Hart. He does actually have an opening line, but Ibn cuts him off quite quickly. And you'll notice that every angel says something about uh, Ibn's current predicament with his uh, grief, essentially. So let's have a talk to Angel Katil. If you try to enter the kitchen, Angel Katil will come out and she'll yell at you. Uh, Ibn will try to reason with her, which won't work, and uh, uh, Katil will point out there about his problems with Evelyn. And Yoko will very smartly, diplomatically break things up, to which Ibn will agree. And the only other person we can speak to here is Angel Israfil. And Angel Israfil doesn't say much either. He, um... Well... He basically just makes excuses for doing his work, which is quite strange, but that's what he does, and also talks about the problem with Evelyn, and then basically you're done here. That's all you need to do. There's not really much in the way of, well, things to do here. It's mostly just a part to see and some more characters just to introduce yourself to. You don't actually meet any of these uh, angels until much later in the books. Uh, that goes for Doran, that goes for... Kutil, that goes for Israfil, Daniil, all the people that are going to be in this video, we're in the last video, and um, yeah, basically, what, just to give you the difference in the book quickly, what happens basically is the opening scene happens, Ibn leaves his office, he's followed through the city, out to the gates, and then he cuts straight to the conversation with Gaban, so all of this stuff in Eden is uh, extra for the game, essentially. Alright, and I did say we'd have a look at the trading post as well, and the trading post is pretty small. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to try and do this in one cut. That's a really bad idea, but we're going to try it. So there are two options when you go into the trading post. It's a very small difference, but there is a subtle difference. I'll talk about it when it happens, and I'll showcase both the version with some ale, which will be first, and the version without some ale, which will be second, and I won't talk during these times. So as you can see, there's only a small, subtle difference between what happens when you have some mail and when you don't have some mail. And you will notice that there are a lot of Agalos around here, and also the parties become a party of three, just to basically add to the idea that there are lots of Agalos here, essentially, to be honest. There isn't too much to do with the trading post either, and that is actually something that I want to change. The only person that you can talk to is Angel Daniel, and you will notice that she is the only one who's walking around, this uh, angel here. And she'll talk with Ibn very quickly about the trading post being very busy, and also gives basically her support and hope that they have a relatively successful uh, patrol with Goban, Sylvia, and the rest of the party. Uh, and that's actually all you can do in the trading post at the moment. I will say something for the trading post in the future though, uh, now that I think about it when I'm in editing. Uh, the trading post in the future part of the game will actually turn into a shop, essentially. So you can actually see there are different signs on each of these tents. So at the top, above even now, there's a sword sign, then there's a money bag sign, then an armor sign, 
and there's a hammer sign and a golden unique sign down here. Uh, each of these different tents will become different stores, so you can buy weapons in the weapon tent, goods in the goods tent, armor in the armor tent, etc. But for now, this is all closed off because we don't have any money essentially, and also I don't want to make you too strong to start off with. But when you come back to Eden in the future, this will become a shopping district where you can actually shop, and there will be still a lot of people, but there will be less people, and they won't be blocking your way to the tents. So that's why there's actually so many people on the screen at the moment. So I'll leave this one here for now, uh, because I said this is all we do, the trading post and south of Eden. So next time we'll have a look at the uh, front gate, and there are a few major triggers there actually. So that's going to be not a massive video, but there's at least going to be some, uh, some additions in that video that are going to take up a bit of time. So, thank you for watching if you did watch to the end or watch to this point. If you have any questions, as always, please leave them in the comments below and I will get back to them as soon as possible. Anything you think I've missed, add that as well. Uh, this one's been nice, short and sweet though, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye for now. And now I've been talking for about two minutes, I realize that the whole party is out when they shouldn't be on this screen, so I'm going to close this part. Yep, yep, yep! <laughs>